Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back in TDL2, and today I'm gonna be showcasing Ketsia Bennett, uh, the ancestor to Miss Flop over there. Um, she just came out, so yeah. Let's do a showcase of all her abilities, because I'm just eating. Okay, anyway, first we got Veninum Corpus. Veninum Corpus. It will basically just throw down a toxic Venom pool that will heal Valerie. Can you siphon Alexia like just for a brief second to get it out of her system? Um, and then it will seize. It will just like you know like they'll slowly die because like that's like the venom. Next we got uh, uh, we got brain fry. <laughs> It'll fry the target's mind doing damage, and it'll make sure they can't use abilities for 25 seconds. I th in the showcase is 30, but someone said 25. I think it's like 30, 25. I don't know. Well, I, I do think know. It's because of update. Yeah. Next, we got Vita Exidy. Vita Exidy. It'll basically desiccate a vampire, like an original or something. And then if it's like a if it's like a witch or a mortal, it will kill them. Yeah. Next we got Ashavana. It'll send it will basically pain inflict and then send back everybody around you. And sends them pretty far. So it can be used really good for escape. Next we got Channel Talisman. You basically hold it and it will take the magic from your pendant and give it to you. You could do it like until your magic all the go goes up. There's no like limit or anything. Alexia, don't even start. Well then drink a blood bag. Anyway, okay. Next we got Fismeltos and Sendia Kirkulis. It's like the Wherever your cursor goes is where the fire will go. Yeah, I don't know why, but Bonnie get, has blue fire. It doesn't make sense to me. But whatever. Next we got the stone turning spell. I don't have to kill you. Yet. Yet. It will basically, if they're a vampire, it will take away their blood but it just freezes them for a period of time but if it's like bonnie or something we'll just take a little bit of health to start and she won't regen at all oh it takes your magic i didn't know that well that's that's good that's more information uh did i show this i didn't think i did next we got ignis tempestus you Risky makes a big circle fire around you that pushes people away who come into contact with it. And if you started it near people, it would, you know, push them away. Okay. Next, let, let, let's do the cure spell now. So first, I'm going to need a heart. And since you're the only immortal here... Oh, I did dare. Okay, now no one come near me. So you need a heart to do it, and this is the animation. A cure for immortality. A cure for immortality. Anyway, I ate. So it will basically make the cure that will kill that will cure anyone's vampire side, including Hope's. Hope can be at a hundred percent; it will still cure her. Hope, stop jumping! I can't. Thank you. It will cure even Hope at a hundred percent. Okay, now let's show the physics of the cure. So now that the cure is in Hope's bloodstream, whenever a vampire feeds on her, they will also be cured. So, Rebecca, can you please feed on Hope? 
so whenever you feed on that person you will also be cured so Re it, rebecca was also cured and since rebecca was first a witch before she got turned into an original by michael and esther she was a witch so now she also has the cure in her bloodstream alexia can you please feed on rebecca valerie Hey, we don't need to be that aggressive. Alexei, just feed. That's not... Well, would that work? I guess it, it did. It did. Oh, I didn't think that was going to work. Oh. Well, now yeah, Alexei is immortal. Okay, next we got the tomb spell. It opens up the tomb. It's... It's not just very nice. It's not just We're in the tomb. Yay! Okay, now now y'all we're in the tomb. Okay, next we got Vokir Scalper. It will summon two knights and throw them at your target. It won't like knock them down, but it just does that. Next we got Vitam Tiniki. Tendakai or whatever. It'll freeze the target with venom. Oh, not with venom. It'll basically just drain their health. A bit and it'll prevent them from moving so you can, and it lasts for a bit so you can run away with this like if you needed to but Ketsi is like really good so I don't think you need to run away un unless like you're being killed by three people but anyway now that's all of her spells except the other side spells so I'm just gonna show those for y'all wait I forgot the the <laughs> I forgot the the other one but I'll just Okay, note to self, if you, um, die in the tomb, it doesn't work. What do you mean? Like, it sent me back to the menu or something. I got glitched under the map. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, everyone go to cemetery. Like, the cemetery, you know, the Mystic Falls Cemetery. Let me just reset showcase it for y'all okay just no don't die on in the tomb guys it just doesn't work okay uh, vitas ex alum vic ic corpus it's the, my self-resurrection so unlike other people um Ketsia has two minutes on the other side compared to other people's 60 seconds so um Ketsia has two minutes instead of 60 seconds which basically means that she could like stalk people until she wants to re like because they can't force her to move on because Ketsi is the only person that can force move on but anyway I'm at the cemetery let's let's um resurrect myself as you see I will summon, summon a pentagram at my spot and bring myself to life Okay, I'm gonna need two people to reset. Because I the one spell I forgot was the other side destruction. Okay. So the spell is Reginum Confractus. It'll basically force everybody on the other side to um, move on. By the way, once Ketsia resur uh, resurrects herself once, she can't see the spirits on the other side anymore. But anyway. Okay, my last spell is an other side spell, so I gotta go to the other side. I think I'm too low for it, and it would just kill me on the view. Probably. This spell is your uh, spiritual cleanseness. Um, so basically, I don't really see a reason why people would want to do this. It basically just kills themselves. But as a last resort, Ketsia can, um, can go through someone's soul to get to the other side. By the other side, I mean it sends you back to the lobby, which is why I don't see why someone would use it, but whatever. This is what it, this is like the animation. As I pass through you. I'll feel my death. So it'll take their damage. Sorry. It'll take, it'll, it'll take like half their health. 65% and then it'll send you back to the main menu, crossing over. 
I don't see why people would want to use this, but if they want to use it, like, as a last resort, like, I already used my self-resurrection. Um, why not? Thank you guys for watching the showcase. I might do a gameplay if she's ever open in public servers. Highly doubtful. Crossing my fingers. Hope she is, but, you know, anything's possible with TVL. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye. Check out my Discord server. Bye.